Today, we're gonna find out if lightning can strike twice as we open up a second Crown Zenith Pikachu VMAX Special Collection box. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back Kyber Crew. We are getting into today's opening. We've got our Pikachu VMAX here in the back along with his two buddies, uh, the, to the two smaller Pikachu promo cards. This is the second Crown Zenith Pikachu VMAX box we have opened here on the channel and we are gonna see if lightning can in fact strike twice or not with our first pack. So to kick things off, we have ourselves a code card, ladies and gentlemen, right off the bat. Now, if you might recall in our last video for the opening that we did with this box, we had some insane first pack magic and I will be sure to link that video um, up at the top and in the down in the description as well. We've got ourselves a fire energy in case you missed that video. We got lost vacuum. We've got electric an ultra ball. Aaron, we have Riolu. Starly, Scyther, Pokeball, we've got Blossom for the Reverse Hollow, and into Luxray non hollow for the Rare. Before I go any further, here is the code card for the entire box collection itself. I don't know where we'd be without that, so make sure you take full advantage of the code cards as they are coming on out to you through the wonderful, wonderful content that we are pumping out here at the channel. This is pack number two for the opening. Hopefully we can do at least a little bit better than we did on the first pack. There's the code card for that. We're gonna just continue as we get right on into things. So here we go. We've got ourselves a lightning energy. We've got carbine graphic, energy switch, pan sham, snow runt, ponyard, tangela, ball toy, We've got Aaron for the Reverse Hollow and in two. Wow, two Luxrays in a row. All right, we are, we might be in the danger zone. Just might be. This is not looking nearly as promising as the first one did, but hey, we're still here for it. We've got three more packs to go. I'm not losing faith. I'm not losing any hope whatsoever. Besides, we've got some amazing pulls from a single pack in the past, so with that, we continue on as we get into the third pack for today's opening. We've got ourselves a Leaf Energy. We've got Slazzle, Carvine, getting some repeats already. Oh my goodness. Is this a good sign or is it a bad sign? Wilmer, we've got a Shinx. There's a little baby Luxray coming out to play. I don't know if he's having some fun with us or not. Carvine and into... What? Wow. I, I'm starting to wonder. I, I, I'm not even making this up. I, it was it was a completely sealed box. I don't know where this Luxray luck is coming from. Um, is Luxray becoming the new mascot of the channel? I don't know. Honest to God, I, I hope I pull either the Suicune V, uh, the Mewtwo V Star would be an awesome pull, or any of the gold cards, honestly. Um, those would be kind of my, my chase cards left from this set that I would still love to pull. Um, but right now, we're just getting hit with some serious Luxray luck as every single rare card slot that comes up has been a Luxray. Where are the Luxrays? They're here. Everybody knows it. All right, we are into our second to last pack for today's opening code card to you for that one. And we are gonna hope beyond all hope that this is better than what we have done in the past. A Leaf Energy. A shaman. Wow, friends in Husui. Okay, we are seeing uh, some fresh cards along with some repeats. We've got Seal. We've got Potion. Aaron. And we have a Corefish. I'm getting a little nervous here. Volcarona for the Reverse Hollow. And into Tangrowth non Hollow Rare. Oh my goodness. Is this going to be a bust of a box? I, I'm, I'm a little hesitant here. I'm very hesitant as we get into our final, final pack for today's opening. Dear me, oh my. Let's try not to bend the corners as we get these cards out of this final pack, shall we? All right, we have ourselves a code card going out to y'all back at home on the home front of things. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves our Leaf Energy. We're getting a lot of Leaf Energy love tonight. Rescue Carrier. We've got Electric. We've got Digging Duo. Pokeball. Corefish. Oddish. 
Come on. Come on. Send the luck. Seal. Cricketot. And a Duskull Galarian Gallery. There we go. And is it going to be a double banger? Into a Hop Hollow Sign Trainer card. All right, well, we are going to take the due diligence. We do have the sleeves at the ready because that's just what you do. Uh, you know, if, we, if we've learned anything from our previous videos on the channel, you always, always, always have to have your sleeves at the ready, roaring and ready to go so that when something like a dust hole pops up for the Galarian Gallery, we'll post him right there in the back. Uh, that once that pops up, you can take care of it in the proper way. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for That was some opening for sure. Um, on behalf of Crown Zenith, I sincerely apologize. I don't really know what happened. It's like Crown Zenith didn't want to show up to work today. So yeah, that's not the opening I wanted to have today. Today has been an awesome day. Long story made short. Uh, as part of my job, I work at a school, and after school, we have ourselves kind of an unofficial Pokemon club, and one of the students today pulled out of some of the Silver Tempest booster bundle packs the Lugia V alternate art, just out of left field, very off-centered, but the fact that the card was pulled live in person, I was huge, so I, I've kind of been riding on Cloud9 ever since I got to experience that with them, and uh, that was a really cool moment, and then we have this kind of lackluster to uh, be very generous this lackluster crown zenith opening which leaves me feeling almost like i'm telling you you're messing up the story now get it right because i would feel remorse if that's where i left all of you my wonderful friends in the kyber crew so without further delay uh, we have a bonus opening <laughs> why simply because i have it it's here and we can um, because I needed a bit of a pick-me-up after that opening of Crown Zenith. This, in fact, is the code card itself for the entirety of the tin. Put that on over there, and we are going to get off to the races here momentarily. All right, we've got ourselves five wonderful packs from the Sword and Shield era. We have ourselves some Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Stars packs, Chilling Rain, and last but certainly not least, Evolving Skies. Personally, I really want Evolving Skies to come in clutch, especially after the abysmal opening we had from Crown Zenith. But without further delay, we are just going to jump right into things and see what Fusion Strike has in store for us today. So we've got ourselves the code card, of course, because where would we be without it? Here is, in fact, the code card for Fusion Strike. And we are going to just tackle this as anybody would just head on first. All right, so here we go. We got ourselves the fighting energy. We've got Holucha. Wow, look at that puffed up chest and ready to go. We've got Dancer for the trainer. We got Sibisage. We got Muna. We got Shelmet. Skarmory. All right, we got more Pico. We've got Adventures Discovery for the Reverse Hollow and into Starmy Hollow Rare. At least it's not a Lux Ray, am I right? I, I almost feel like I should uh, should make that into like a like a punchline of a joke, somehow, some way. Um, I know other channels they they've been uh, mimed into the ground, so to speak, and maybe Lux Ray is our mime here at the channel. Alrighty, so we are getting into our next pack. This is pack one of two for Brilliant Stars here. Let's see if we can get the code card out to y'all back home. There she is. Boom. And we are going to move right along and hoping for the best. Obviously, I'm still holding on. Uh, not so much for a hero today, but in fact for that alternate art Charizard. We got Primplup, Charon's Care. We got Shroomish, Hiplup, hanging out with his little snowman, Turtwig, Sneasel, Clink. Ooh, we've got... All three for the reverse Halloween in two. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a hit. It is Charizard V-Star for the win. Let's go. All righty. That puts a smile on my face. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the openings are supposed to be. Thank you so much, Brilliant Stars, for showing up today. Now, 
obviously this is not the Charizard I was looking for, but I am not complaining in the least bit. Um, so I, I, I'm thrilled the fact that we even pulled this thing. Let's see, how's the condition look on this? This looks pretty stunning. I'm not gonna lie. I actually, I, I picked up uh, from a, a vendor a, a while back a copy of this card and I unfortunately did not see it before I sent it off to get graded at PSA because I thought it was part of the artwork. There was a gash in the hollow tucked around right about here. Um, and so I think it got a, a near mint seven, I think. Let's see, how's the back? Centering's looking good. I'm not really seeing any huge indicators that that wouldn't get a 10 if we sent it off. But you never know, we'll just post them right up in the back for good luck for now. Charizard V-Star, can we pull the other one? This is gonna be absolutely bonkers if we can. All right, this is pack number two for Brilliant Stars for this bonus opening we have here. We've got ourselves the code card going out to y'all back on the home front of things. And we're gonna move right along here and we don't have an energy, but we've got everyone's favorite, the V-Star Marker! Alrighty, we've got Clang, Cynthia's Ambition, Torkoal, Milsery. Oh, I'm very hesitant to go through this pack now. Cub Chew. Could we get another Charizard to Dede? Farfetched. Woo, Duskull. We've got Flygon looking cool as all get up for the reverse hollow and into. Nope, it's not going to be a Charizard, but it will, in fact, be a Clefable. There we go. Not a bad way to end that. Now, I did order at least the last three packs for this opening, uh, kind of in the reverse pecking order, if, so to speak. Uh, at least in my mind's eye, I would put Brilliant Stars at number three. I would put Chilling Rain at number two. And, of course, the king uh, of uh, the Sword and Shield era, Evolving Skies. Um, and so that's kind of why I decided to open them in that particular order. In case you were wondering, uh, feel free and share your thoughts down in the comment section below if you think I'm wrong about that. I'd love to hear what your take is on what you think the top three sets of the Sword and Shield era might be. But without further delay, we are getting into our single pack of Chilling Rain for today's opening. We've got ourselves, it's upside down, there we go, the code card. And we are off to the races. So here we go. We've got ourselves our energy card for this pack. It's a leaf energy. I'm a little hesitant now because we got a lot of leaf energies from that Crown Zenith opening. Please, please, please give us something good. Chilling Rain. A Deerling. Sneasel. Galarian Farfetch'd. Just chilling under the tree. Vinipede. Furfru. We've got Mareep. Looking happy and innocent, like there's nothing hiding behind that card. As our reverse hollow and into nothing. All right, well, it's a zebra strike if we got that right out the way. All right, we are getting ourselves into our last and final pack for today's opening for the bonus item, I should say. This is Evolving Skies. Will we get some last pack magic? Smash the like button, send us the good vibes and the good luck. There is the code card. We are getting things started. Ooh, all right. Here we go. We've got ourselves a water energy. <sighs> got ourselves Scroll of the Fanged Dragon for the trainer. We've got Flow It. We've got Bulldor. I am so nervous. Zora. Fragonal. Till. Drowsy. Scraggy. Oh, come on. Oh, Pumpkaboo for the reverse hollow. Oh, and into Flapple. Flapple, you've you've done us again. Flapple, Flapple, Flapple. Now I will say I can't complain too much. We did in fact get the Charizard V-Star here out of the opening. Uh, obviously we got the promo card as well, but some people don't like to call it, count the promo cards for the hits, which is totally understandable by me. Um, but this Charizard V-Star, that is looking pretty nice. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. 
that in fact is going to do it for today's opening. Leave a like on your way out, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel so that you too can join the Kyber crew. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any awesome content that is coming your way. Down in the comment section, be sure to let us know how do you think we did. Is that Charizard V-Star a big hit when it comes to cards out of Brilliant Stars, or do you think we could have done a lot better out of the tin and the packs that were inside of it? And as always, stay safe. I love y'all. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.